Ryan with Miss Dog Geek here, and I just wanted to do a quick video that's a little bit outside of the uh, Bit X40 rebuild series, but is definitely featuring the Bit X40 rebuild. But I wanted to share with you a method that I came up with for um, mounting everything, and it invo involves three of my, well, two or three of my favorite things. Uh, one of my favorite things here is this corrugated plastic, uh, often called Coroplast. You can see why. And you can buy a sheet of this at Home Depot or Lowe's for about $25 for a four by eight sheet. But if you make friends with your local sign shop that makes vinyl signs, they often use corrugated plastic for their signs and you can get off cuts uh, various sizes for free. So you can just call them up and look at, let them know you're looking for scraps of the corrugated plastic and see what they say. If they ask you what thickness, just take whatever thickness you can get. This is the four millimeter and it's fairly thick. Um, you can actually use this for a lot of things. I use this for the, uh, this is a scrap from building a box for my trike, which I built it with because it's durable, extremely durable, and also pretty light. In fact, um, I don't know if they still make them, but there was a company that used to make um, corrugated plastic RC airplanes that were really durable. They just kind of bounced. Anyway, so this stuff is really cool. Um, I've used it in RC planes uh, as well, like gliders and whatnot. And then my other favorite thing, hot glue. I love hot glue. Anybody who watches my channel knows this. It, hot glue is like one of my favorite things. And you can see I've used hot glue to get, oops, well, it also comes off real easy. Um, it's not perfect. I just need to use hot, more hot glue there but it's also not going anywhere. And so I've used it for pretty much everything. And when I want to take it off, it just comes right off as you saw. Um, that's not exactly a, a great bond there, but you know, you don't necessarily want a great bond either. Uh, this is all temporary until it goes into a new enclosure. The only thing not to uh, hot glue down is this, my microphone connector, cause it just doesn't really lend itself to it. I could have built a little bracket for it, but I didn't want to, but pretty much everything else, um, I've used standoffs, either metal or nylon standoffs here. And then for my display, I just put a real long standoff on the back and nothing on the front. And so it's angled forward a little bit, which makes it easier to see. So that's pretty much it. I just wanted to show this little method. Um, I know over at the uh, Solder Smoke uh, podcast and blog, they have been making things on boards. And that's great, but I don't have any wood to to speak of, not big enough anyway. And I didn't want to buy any, and I had this laying around, and you know, all it takes is a hot, glue, a cheap hot glue gun, and you know, a, uh, some hot glue sticks. You know, these things, you can buy a big old bag of them for a couple dollars. And um, yeah, I mean, and those standoffs, I'll put the, I'll put a link to these standoffs um, in the description below. I'll actually, I'll probably put a post to my, uh, a post on my blog about this also. I kind of cross linked the two. So if you want to see where I got these standoffs, I just got them on Amazon. Uh, you can buy a little box of them for a few dollars. So um, anyway, that's it. If you have any questions or suggestions, please let me know in the comments below. And, and uh, you know, I can sure use a thumbs up and a subscribe. So do the thing. Thanks for watching 73.